Oi, Gits! This is Trisky, and welcome to the brand new Unlucky Rolls Mini Channel. I've been getting back into modeling and even 3D printing as early as September of last year, and it's been a while. Last time I did it was, I was like 12, so it's been over 14 years. So, suffice to say, I, I have a lot of catching up to do. But, I wanted to share some of my journeys and adventures with y'all in what I've been doing, and to start off, this video is going to show what I've accumulated and set up so far since I picked up again last September. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you think you'll enjoy this content. I am a talking head, and see you in the actual footage. Before you, is a spread of every single one of my miniatures as of right now that I either have plans to assemble and paint or have assembled and still have plans to paint. Duh. Uh, but yeah, none of the ones that I know I'm absolutely not going to do are up here. These are all either finished in some form of pre-assembly, in some form of assembly, have been primed, etc. Uh, so to start off, let's go from the very beginning. These guys were a gift from a friend of mine, my good pal Mike, who actually is part and parcel owner of a store that sells Warhammer miniatures. And this group of boys was my start off for getting back into the hobby after over a decade. And I love how they came out. The one thing that I want to do with them at some point is rebase them because I found a theme for the rest of my orcs that I want to follow and keep to, and these guys do not even remotely match it. My favorite guy, however, is that one little guy right there. That poor little sad guy with the landmine on his back and the landmine in his hand. And I realized while I was placing them down that I just added more to the irony by putting the guy with the stick bomb right over it. Uh, that That is just one I did for funsies, and it came out great, in my opinion. In a different vein, I have these guys, the kill team. This is how I chose to assemble and paint them. I wanted to go with purple, and as far as I'm concerned, my headcanon, these guys are not part of the same crew as all of my other orcs there. They are owned individual thing. I don't have any lore background for them, uh, as you will see momentarily that I have for everything else. As you might have noticed from a guess, a lot of my stuff seems to be uh, nautical or sea or pirate themed and that's because these are a free buddha army uh all the guys out here and they are all specifically the old crew of this character who is a custom 3d print of my roleplay character from the unlucky rolls main channel the tabletop rpg channel we have a ongoing wrath and glory campaign originating rogue trader and this is gizmex scrap mango the gear turner who is my mech boy character I apologize that my hands aren't steady, and Ella is also bugging at my leg. Hello, little puppy. You want to be attention? You want some attention? There you go. Hello. Doggo break. Always good for a doggo break. You're a cutie, yes you are. You're a cutie, yes you are. You're a cutie, yes you are. Canonically, this whole entire crew of orcs, except for a few that I will point out, namely those guys and the wild-looking ones over there, are all part of the crew of Gizmek here. Shortly before he left said Free Buddha crew at the beginning of the campaign uh, because he was sick of fixing his boss's death dread. Uh, I will give a little blurb about that or something maybe on screen. I don't know. If you want, if you really care, pause and read it. These Killicans here are the second lot of guys that I completed and painted. And much the same as the Orc Boys that I showed up before, uh, these ones... Uh, I want to rebase as well. They are not in the current scheme because the current scheme of all of my other bases, as you might have noticed very mildly in the background if you are attentive, is much like these other group of Killicans, these 3D printed ones, who are uh, all based as though on a starship. Generally, the theme that I go for is randomly alternating red silver and black panels to match the color of the army itself which is primarily red and black uh so that is another set of killicans these ones i'm pretty sure i'll correct myself in the editing if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure these guys are gear guts mech shop these ones either that or the ones right behind them uh but 
Maybe they all are. Maybe I forget. Maybe I am forgetful. It is a possibility. They're all very similar leg setups uh, in how they were printed. But uh, these guys are a bunch of crab-themed killer cans for my army uh, because I like how they look, and so I wanted to print them. I don't really care too much most of the time when I print things out, whether or not it's a feasible unit on the field. I just do things that I think look cool. Hence why this guy's got a more dynamic pose, because I wanted to do one at at least one of the guys. Speaking of things that I think look cool, I have an assortment of grot tanks. Uh, this one is just a random... I think this was a free... STL that I found online that I thought looked cool and decided to print. Uh, this one I ordered off Etsy, and these four are also gear guts. Except for the little guy inside of there, who is just a goblin commander unit that I found and decided it would look good inside of it because I didn't like it without anything inside of it. A little bit of 3D printing scuff there, but I just put it up to orc stuff. He is actually too short to fit out the end, so... While I can't really show it very well, just due to lack of lighting... Uh, actually, let's see if I can get this go. Yeah, you might be able to barely see that he is sitting on top of a ammo can inside of there. Uh, but that is a very small detail that I did, mostly just to prop him up so that he could actually be at height where he needed to be. Uh, and because of how I'm storing him currently, his sword is getting bent, I need to find a different place to put him. So I am going to find a different place to put him. Mentioned Gear Guts Mech Shop, and with the exclusion of these two at the front, who I just didn't really have a good place to put on this whole entire table setup, uh, Forklift Orc, as a reminder for part of the tabletop campaign as well, although that's not Gizmech, and a cannon because, you know, pirates and stuff. Uh, the rest of all of these guys right here that I am floating about right now are all Gear Guts Mech Shop minis that I printed out. For the army. <laughs> uh, this is the big boy. The Morkanot, Gorkanot. I'm not sure what it's going to be run as. To be quite fair with you. I've yet to actually look through those two particular rules. But he's a big boy. And he took a while to assemble. And of course me being the smart and impatient person I was. I didn't paint sub-assembly before assembling him all together. So he is not actually done being painted yet. I still need to paint all of this. Uh, with a bunch of black areas and the dot highlights and stuff. That's going to be great. Uh, but one thing I do want to point out that's a fun little detail. And I think even though it was sort of scuffed how it printed out. Uh, it still came out pretty nicely. Is there's a little goblin on the mast here. And uh, the pole for it printed out at a bend. But I don't think it really works that poorly. So I'm keeping it. I didn't bother reprinting it. Especially considering my 3D printer right now is out of function, but at the time even, I decided not to reprint it. So he's just screaming there forever because he's on the mast of a giant Morkanaut stomping around. Uh, the, the peg leg here is actually barely visible that it's pegged into the bottom of here. Where is the drill hole? Yeah, you can't even really see the drill hole. I used a bit of uh, it's right there. I used a bit of uh, leftover from another print, one of the rods that comes out as a support beam from another print to try and help support it in place. I could have done something sturdier, but I didn't have really much at the time. Now, this guy, I really like how the job came out on. This is a weird boy for my army. And he looks really cool, and he's crab-themed. But I decided that I wanted to make his back carapace based off of an actual, uh, well, an actual crab. Uh, I wound up actually going off of a drawing of a crab, so it's not off of the photo, but I will share it here alongside this. It is really cool, and I like it, so I am doing it. And I think it came out really well. This was all freehand, and they never come out. Like, they're not normally naturally super straight anyway. Uh, otherwise, he just has some stains of blood and stuff on him, a glowing sphere and everything else and that worked out pretty well there's also the one hq unit i have from gear guts this guy who i really like as well the big old claw and cannons on his back he's happy to see ya uh i just sort of glued a bunch of different failed printout bits of stuff but i tried to have a 
running theme of having all of the random arrows that drop down pointing ahead. Because I thought that was cute. The last bit of Gear Guts Mech Shop stuff that I have right here are these bikers. Which we'll move into showing all the bikers off. But these are crab themed bikers that are just like bike shells with orcs inside of them and they did not print out as best as possible but the lucky part about being orcs is that i don't have to worry too much about imperfections i can just say it's an orky thing to do alongside that i have uh four sets of bikers from mecha mecha miniatures who i also follow quite noticeably and the one problem that i can point out is that this one's arm fell off i'm going to have to reprint that i can't find it for the love of me uh but it was a gun arm he was holding a pistol up uh Meanwhile, the rest of them, I have their side limbs magnetized, so I can swap out, because I didn't want to uh, just do one. But we have the two on the jet skis, we have the one on the side wind sail, who has some of the coolest poses, I like the trailing anchor. Then we have the one on the rowboat, the little goblin in the back actually manning the engine as he holds the cannon and the machine gun swings his sword ahead or points his gun. So there's that. In addition, I also have a bunch of little grots to go along with the grot tanks and the killicans. I have all these guys. The ones in the front two rows are finished, assembled, and fully painted. These ones are primed. The bases are fully painted because I paint those separately, but I haven't finished them themselves. Uh, this was some early testing with an airbrush to get the idea of it. This guy is only primed and is part of this guy's little set. He, I just wanted to print him alongside. He was really cute. He's wearing like an octo, octopus hat and stuff. And he's just trying to get the fuck away. I love it. It's great. Uh, but these are the two uh, squig writing guys that I got. This one is my favorite of the two. And is a little bit more long in progress. Big old shark squigget with mechanical legs. I love it. Uh, ho holding on to a harpoon with lots of blades on it and just charging in full throttle i love him so much he's a beautiful little boy this one uh i like his design too and it is very sharky he has like a minigun on the side here uh this one was an annoying one to keep assembled it is the leg here broke off multiple times the arm broke off multiple times just because they dangle off separately and I need to re reprime him black which means I need to get enough paint stripper to get all the paint off because this was me in my desperation at one point when I was out of black and white primer painting him some old uh dark angels green primer that I still had lying around and I don't like how it came out I also got a bunch of extra random orc boys here along with two knobs that I printed out these ones are a pirate themed group these ones are uh, part of a different entire set, but more more generic orc, but I still like them. Uh, I haven't finished printing out all the other buddies for these two knobs yet. And I haven't finished anything other than the boots on all of these uh, guys, just so I could uh, feasibly allow myself to glue them to the bases here. Uh, along with those, and more regular units, I have some Ludus here. All of these are regular Games Workshop kit. Except the heads are 3D printed. Uh, they are all uh, more piratey heads and such. Just to be fitting. Same thing with these boys. These storm boys in the back are all pirate heads that have been printed out and such. And I love, I love how they came out. They're all on temporary bases with tack just so I could paint them before I put them on the base. Because I do paint the bases on these guys separately nowadays. That's a one some assembly I do rather... Uh, rather consistently. Now, as you might expect for orcs, I have a bunch of vehicles. Uh, some of which are in varying states of completion. If I swap these two around here, all of these guys are complete. All five of these are complete. My Mecha Squigoth, three mostly scratch-built tanks, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, this one is a printout one that I really liked, and I love how it came out. Uh, I didn't paint it super fancifully, but I also just enjoyed how it came out and didn't want to ruin it. Uh, this this one was a bitch. This guy was a bitch. You were a bitch. So, this one is really cool, really nice, comes out. It's a bit hefty, but it's not too bad. 
uh, considering it's entirely hollow on the inside, but putting on the top and bottom panels was a bitch and a half. You can see that there's chippage in the corner here, right there, that chippage. And I have the same kind of thing going on up towards that end on the front here, because getting these panels on, uh, on my, I have a Mars 3 Pro and getting them on uh, concisely required a lot of shaving, and even then I had to sort of hammer them into place. Speaking of hammering, uh, this one is lined pretty damn flush. This one is not. I had to use that rubber mallet right there, a freaking kitchen rubber mallet right there, to hammer this one into place, and that took bloody ages. But, uh, luckily, is orcs and orcs don't care about minor damages and imperfections it adds to the charm a little bit in my opinion that still sort of miffed me off when i couldn't get it to be flush but hey so be it uh this i don't really know what i'm necessarily gonna do with it but i found it on my mini factory and i thought it looked cool i had to uh the top part of it didn't print out properly fully so these pipes here are green stuff you can probably see green stuff residue and such from rolling it through and redoing it and I had to redo parts of the top and the fans as well so they don't look just right but uh, I'm gonna deal I'm not super perfectionist when it comes to some of the 3d prints I'd rather not waste the resin this one is a meme tank tell me if, tell me in the comments if you get the joke do you get the joke uh this is actually not for Warhammer this one is my attempt at a tank for a swill, which is a small system that I found based on Turnip 28's universe, which it looks really cool. They're like all overgrown with root vegetables and such, and this was one of my attempts. Uh, it actually printed out very badly uh, because I didn't have things set up, and this was during a hell of my uh, issues with my 3D printers that still persist to this day. But since it was going to become a swill, swill tank, a lot of green stuff and whatnot was already on the schedule. So I just made the skirt look really fucked. Uh, the tracks are doubled up on and extended and uh, like bleh and whatnot. I think it just makes it look like it's supposed to be some weird abomination tank. And I tried out a firing effect at the front. I don't think it came out the best, but it could have come out worse. So hey, just some cotton that I spray painted gray and a... 3D printed explosion cannon fire effect. And those are all the main vehicles there. The last orky thing in my repertoire are these guys. And I mentioned that these weren't part of the same crew and that's because they're Modulorca figures. Uh, they are all made by Mr. Modulork, designed by Mr. Modulork. They're very modul modular as you might expect. Uh, the bases came out a bit fucked, but you, you get the idea. These guys are for a completely different smaller system, a different like skirmish, orc versus orc game that i thought looked really cool uh the one thing that i would change if i went back in time is reprint him the same size as everyone else because i printed him boss size and i didn't really think about it too much uh so there's that but there's a big big boss boss heavy armor armor boy guy and the weird boy kind of uh weird weird get and then a bunch of regular dudes, and that's about what I got so far. They're all part of the, I think it's, it's not the Horde, it's the, I, I forget the name of the faction, but I decided to go different for this one, because I'm not really huge, huge on the Beast Snagger Boys and regular 40k. I might still get some at some point, but uh, for the aesthetic of being a pirate crew, I don't really think they fit in too well, so I decided to go for that here mentioned that I would get back to these three guys, and as I promised, I will. So these are all obviously not like Warhammer or any other kit minis that you probably have seen. And that's because they are all made out of uh, these $1.50 USD little wooden military toy puzzle puzzles. And I have finished those puzzles, added on varying amounts of green stuff, milliput, and plastic card, to make them look like orky tanks to the best of my ability at the time. Like, these are just two plastic card, uh, like, rods with some stuff at the end to just end off the cannons. Uh, this was... This was from some... I don't even remember what that was from. These are thick plastic card. There's plastic card on the side there. 
This entire back panel is plastic card with various bits of small cut up plastic card to add that. Ooh boy. Everyone's fine to add that sort of uh, orky, weirdly assembled vibe. Some random shoulder plates that I had left over from the boys along with some random uh, bits in the back just to make it look like it's more of a carrying vehicle. Uh, this was one of the unused bits from one of my Killicans, I believe. A couple pipes and a drill that was also from, I think, one of the Killicans that I thought would add to it. And I also did not glue this front part. So I can take this off. So as you can see from the front, there's a little ork in there with a wheel. In the back, he basically has nothing. It was just the remaining torso and head and arms from uh, another... Uh, one of the boys in that little lot there that I wanted to reuse and repurpose for this to put a pilot in the vehicle. So he's in there, he's driving, he's he's fine and everything. Uh, but yeah, we are we are good there. And in a similar vein, I used the upper torso and head of another orc to make this one in the tank. And I didn't fully glue this part because it now has a little, just so barely little bit of a swivel capacity. But these were all really fun to make. Sort of in the spirit of being orky. Right, let's move away from some of the orc stuff. I am just going to quickly move these guys aside and get them out of the way because they are not a huge focus of mine. Uh, you will learn through this channel that I am not a huge Imperium uh, fan. I don't care for the bloody Yumi's. But I do have a few leftover models from when my mother and I used to play. Yes, my mother used to play Sisters of Battle ages ago, over a decade ago alongside me when I played the Ultra Smurfs like I did and as a sort of a test and out of boredom I decided to take a few of them and write them and funnily ironically enough I wrote uh I, I wrote your mom gay on one of them and only realized the irony of putting down one of my mom's old figures after the fact because I'm like that so uh I just wanted to do that I showed it to her she thought it was funny uh and I also have these couple guys printed out uh, these are from one of the original designers of Warhammer, uh, Space Marines, but it's a different thing, a different set of 3D guys. I'm probably going to finish them at some point, but not a high, huge priority right now. Warhammer Fantasy. I have a big old verminous host box that hasn't even been opened up that I still need to assemble and make all these minions in. Uh, it's going to be great. What I have done are these Skaven here. These are some 3D printed Storm Vermin. Uh, the far rightmost six are completed, base and all, they are all glued. I have to finish the bases on these guys, and they are temporarily blue tacked on just to show them off at this point. But all of the models themselves are finished painting. I just need to finish those bases. I also have these three guys in the back that are just primed, not even based, uh, that have just recently been printed. So these are the absolute newest addition to any of my armies right now, technically. In addition... This is the only mini out of the lot that I have that I did not paint. This is a model commissioned of my character, Main Scritch Scratch, who you may, if you actually watch the other tabletop RPG channel, recognizes my character that I play for the old Mordheim campaign. I still play him for the new one, but he is a gun rat now in the current timeline in the reset universe. This is him when he was a corn barbarian with tons of mutations and extra arm two different tentacles i could use to whip people etc etc uh he was he was a bit of a beast in melee combat lastly of my skaven i have heavy weapons rat who i am planning to put into a diorama that you will likely see as another project on the channel at some point you will if you like tf2 you'll love this one just recently got some dead zone minis in i'm very interested in this game i have a few more on the way uh, but I am not planning to open this up yet until I get some other things done because my pile of shame grows. And last are some of the other small skirmish war games that I have. These are the Greco Gators. They are my Lizardmen Blood Bowl team. These here are named after folks who have supported me on my other endeavor, my Twitch streaming and such. A bunch of different guys. The only di exception is Apollo here in the front who is my roleplay character. And this one 
right here are the remaining guys, the unnamed ones, and some of the star players that I have assembled and painted. So this is the entire team of the Greco Gators as they are available. I do love Korn, but I don't really want to focus on him entirely for a huge army, especially since I have such a love of Orcs and Skaven. However, I did want to do Korn for Necromunda, and I decided, screw it, let's go pretty. This is, this is mostly just because I felt like it. I wanted to do some a fun, weird, really bright color scheme with my Necromunda guys. The bases aren't done, uh, and the, rest, the models themselves aren't fully done. I still have to do highlighting and such, but I am quite happy with how they're coming along. But yeah, those are all of my minis so far that, are, that I actually plan to finish right now. That I have either printed or bought or already assembled on this table here. That is everything I've amassed since September of last year and starting up 3D printing in October of last year, 2022. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Thank you very much and welcome to the channel.